At the age of 18 and two weeks, I found myself in a position where I was picking up the body parts of my best friend in Northern Ireland. At this point, it had a, a real detrimental effect. I found myself also in a position of being shot twice and blown up once. And con consequent to this, it gave me nightmares, flashbacks, which stopped me functioning as a human being. I couldn't cope, I couldn't talk to people, I withdrew from society. I got so, so down and in a dark place that I decided I couldn't live with life any longer, so I was going to commit suicide. PTSD knocks the stuffing out of everybody. You can't function. It takes over your mind, it takes over everything that you are. You become PTSD. All you can think of is what's going on in your head and it happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can't turn it off. It's like the DVD that's on constant play with no remote control to control it. Eventually, my partner decided she couldn't la live with this any longer. She needed to get me sorted out and got me in touch with a doctor whose first point of call was to highly medicate me. So not only was I not able to function, I was a zombie as well. This lasted for about six months and eventually and I did an intensive three-day course with healing the wounds. It didn't sound a lot. Within that three days they gave me back my life and suddenly I found myself in a position where I could function. Life had meaning and purpose and without their help I would not be around today talking to you in this condition. So I would like everybody that's watching this just to reflect and think. There are about 250,000 soldiers out on the streets. Not all of them are suffering, but a big majority of those soldiers are suffering with no place to go. Nobody cares, nobody wants them. But healing the wounds will help them. They are good at what they do. Without their help, there'll be more, more ex-soldiers, veterans dying. A complete waste of human life. It's not right.